My name is Sonali McDermott um, and I'm an uh, assistant professor of environmental studies um, at New York University um, and I'm a climate modeler by training and I um, look at the impact and evaluate the impact of climate change on agriculture but also um, of agriculture and land use on our environmental systems um, and so I've been at NYU for one year now and hope to continue. I think it's severely urgent but not apparent um, meaning that it's urgent depending upon what it is that we value, right? If we decide that sea level rise is not a big deal and we can afford to lose a good portion of our coastal cities um, and that, that trade-off is okay, then it's not that urgent, right? Um, if, if we decide, however, that that's not acceptable, and you would think that that's, I mean, that's a very dramatic example, but for instance, there are species that we probably have never heard of before, you know, species of insects that we would never see, that would never bother us, that, are, that we're losing on a daily basis. And we have to ask ourselves, are we really seeing the impacts of that? Now, ecosystems and environmental impacts usually have a lag time which means that we don't feel the full impact until many years later. And that's something that I don't think we're considering very well. I think that if we want to preserve the world, at least as it is right now, we need to act right away. Um, in fact, arguably we should have acted 10 years ago, right? Or 20 years ago. So we have absolutely no time to waste. I think that if we're in a position to make decisions about what it is we do and do not value, and this is what I mean, we have to decide what kind of world that we want. If we agree that a world of two degrees Celsius might be bad for some people, but overall can be okay for most of the people, that's a judgment call that people are about to make, right, in, 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 uh, in, um, in Paris. So yeah, I mean, I think the problem is not only urgent, but past due. but how quickly we act now really depends on the decisions that we make together. And it might be that we decide collectively that some things may not matter as much as others or that some things, some risks are acceptable. I don't advocate for all of that, but some people might, you know, um, India might decide that having a bit warmer temperatures and a much more variable monsoon might be an okay trade-off to get everybody electricity, right? These are the types of decisions that are going through people's heads, in which case it's not as urgent as 10 years ago. It might be as urgent as the next five years, right, to actually do something. But it definitely stands that the longer we take to do anything, the more expensive it's going to be. So again, that's a trade-off that we have to make. And I think Andy put it very well, it's a sliding scale towards misery, right? So at what point in that scale we wanna stop um, is our decision, but everything is urgent. And then again, it isn't depending upon what we value.